No, that's all right. We'll get this thing going for you uh, so you can get out to practice. Michael, lead us off. Hey, Nas, uh, for the first four games of this season, you've played some really good receivers. You've played some really good quarterbacks. You got another really good quarterback on deck and potentially one of the best receivers coming back as well. Just your thoughts on um, your performance through your first four games, what you've done good, and, and, and some things that you maybe want to improve on. Yeah, I mean, I definitely uh, appreciate um, the challenge that we have day in and day. I mean, it's like that every week. I mean, uh, we definitely have a big opportunity against the Saints, and we already know the type of offense they have. So I'm excited for that opportunity and just looking forward to getting better each week. So, I mean, that's pretty much all I'm focused on, just taking it one game at a time, um, just pretty much just focusing in on how I can help this team win. Thank you. Fernando. Naz, you guys are facing Alvin Kamara this week. Uh, just can you talk about him? I mean, he's not only dangerous uh, in the run game, but he's also dangerous in the passing game. Uh, can you just talk about him and just what he uh, brings to that Saints offense? Oh, yeah, he's a very, very talented back, um, unique back. Um, I mean, I'm excited for the, the challenge to face him. And, I mean, we're definitely going to make sure we have a good game plan against him. I mean, someone with that type of talent and um, explosive plays that he produces, I mean, we definitely got to account for him every snap. And then uh, there's been a lot of questions about Drew Brees and his arm and, uh, and everything. Kind of what have you seen uh, from him on film? And uh, do you feel like he's lost a step or do you feel like it's still the same uh, quarterback? It's the same future Hall of Famer I've been watching since I was a kid. Um, I mean, I'm excited to play against him. A really, really good decision maker. I mean, knows how to run the show. So, I mean, we definitely got to make sure we pay attention to detail. All right, Gilbert. Hey, uh, Nas, with, with all the injuries, uh, with, with young guys like yourself, do you guys see it as a challenge to step up and make up for the losses? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely unfortunate with all the injuries we have and stuff like that. I mean, but something we take pride in and just making sure, like, whenever your number is called, just make sure you're ready, make sure that um, your teammates can trust you and that you know what you're doing. And just one more, Nas, just curious, uh, how has uh, Jaleel died been for you guys uh, since, since he's been back with the team? Oh, he's been great. I actually just met him um, since day one. I mean, we built a really good bond, and I mean, he's a leader out there. I mean, helping me out because he played a position um, a couple years ago. So, I mean, it's definitely been a blessing having him here with us. Thank you, Nas. Pop. Hey, Nas. Obviously, you were here all of last year and, you know, got to study the playbook and, and sort of learn the scheme. But I'm curious sort of how, how it's been different now that you're on the field playing that three safety spot and sort of what the challenges are of that specific spot in the scheme. You obviously don't get a lot coming your way. A lot of plays are sort of just not around the ball, but you sort of have to be on your toes at all times for the one play that does come your way. So I'm just curious sort of sort of how you've adjusted now that you've actually been on the field. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely been a big difference. I mean, those mental reps have helped me out tremendously just um, from my rookie year, but uh, there's nothing like those in-game reps and just uh, testing out my angles, knowing when to be patient, when I can be aggressive, and then – that all comes with understanding the defense, knowing when I have to be more cautious, when I have the opportunity to be more aggressive. So just learning that, and I mean, I'm working hard at it each day. Um, I mean, it's pretty much everything that, like, they want from the free safety position, kind of like you said. Um, you may not get a lot of targets and stuff like that, but it's a matter of being patient and knowing when that play does come, it's a big one, so you got to make sure you're on it. And just to follow up, like specifically with that position, is it something that you that you need those in-game reps to sort of get a feel for for when to make those aggressive decisions and when to maybe be more passive? Or is that something you felt like you could sort of get the hang of, you know, studying the playbook and, and taking those mental reps? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a mixture of both, just understanding the playbook, knowing where your help is, and then also just your decision-making on the field, just whether you're going for the breakup, going for the interception or – um, that's pretty much something you have to experience in practice and game to keep working hard, making sure you're making smart decisions. Thanks. Jeff Miller. Naz, uh, you mentioned Breeze. Last week he had Brady. As a young player, what is this like to – you've got back-to-back -back Hall of Famers and all-timers you're going against? It's exciting. I mean, it just it's crazy to think about just um, how long they've been doing – how long they've been playing at a high level in this game. And obviously they have a great reputation and um, it was definitely a good learning experience from last week. And I mean, we're just moving on and looking how we can improve. What, um, Gus said he thought defensively, maybe things got a little unsettled in the last week in the second half, especially what did you see against Brady when they, they had several, you know, long passes and just kind of what happened when things kind of spiraled out of the control there a little bit. 
Yeah, I mean, our coach is doing a great job, even this week in practice, just preparing us for maybe chaotic situations where the offense maybe goes up-tempo or um, just making sure we're focusing on us and making sure we're in our right position and everything else should take care of itself. Okay. Thank you. All right, Nas, appreciate the time. All right, cool. Thank you. Thanks, Nas. Bye, guys.